Good morning, I'm Sungi Park from Netin AR. Uh, today I'd like to introduce pin meter technology and its optical characteristic and, and how it is different from other AR optic combiner technologies and its benefits on the image quality and uh, <coughs> how it can be simply manufactured. Uh, okay, next slide. Yeah. So this is the content of my presentation. Next. Okay, let me start with the brief history about Latin AR. Latin AR uh, has it established in 2016 October, and we have uh, raised the fund from <coughs> two Korean uh, internet giants and uh, one number one Korean commercial bank. And we have participated in major uh, conferences and exhibitions like Consumer Electronics Show and the Mobile World Congress and we gained a lot of attention from the media and global tech companies. Next. Uh, okay, so these are the optical issues for the uh, augmented reality devices. Actually, the first three, the image quality, focus, and FOV, field of view, are very important characteri characteristics for giving uh, immersive and natural visual experience. And uh, the remaining two, the form factor and the normal vision, is especially important for the user comfortability. Next. So let's start talking about the image quality. Actually, image quality uh, contains a lot of things like uh, resolution, the color expression, the field of view, <coughs> uh, not the field of view, uh, the, the contrast or luminous. Uh, however, it is totally dependent on the, the display source itself. However, when the image passes through the optic combiner, it is degraded. <coughs> so it is important for optic combiner uh, not minimizing the degradation of the uh, optic quality. However, most of the diffractive optical element or holographic optical element waveguides degrades uh, the image quality, especially the color uniformity because the diffraction efficiency of the DOE, diffractive optical element, is totally dependent on the wavelengths of the uh, light. So, so when we see the plain white image, the color at the edge part, like left edge or right, right edge, will be, the color will be slightly shifted to other colors. And however, the pin mirror is a pure mirror, so it reflects every light regardless of the wavelengths. So let's check the image quality of the pin meter. Next. So this is the comparison of the real, real object and the pin mirror object. The right side candle is from the real one. The left side is the uh, virtual one made by pin meter. Actually, as you can see, the, the plate, plain white plate, uh, <coughs> is made by pin meter and it shows totally perfect white colors. Next. Uh, the next thing is the focus. Uh, pin mirror can support very long depth of, depth of field because of, the, because of the pinhole effect. Actually, pinhole effect gives a very natural focus. Um, by providing focus, we can mitigate the virgin's accommodation conflict, which causes the visual nausea. And also, we can support the uh, reducing of the mismatching between the virtual and real object. Next. <coughs> so let me show with the example videos. So the right thing uh, is the, from the conventional uh, half mirror solution of the optic combiner, and the left one is the pin mirror combiner. As you can see, the can moves back and forth and according to the direction, depth direction, uh, it changes its focus. However, uh, the right side, the normal conventional half mirror solution does not uh, support the focus, so it loses its focus and the cat becomes blurrier. However, the left one, the cat is always in focus because we provide very long depths of field. Next. <coughs> and field of view. Uh, shortly, FOV. Uh, single FOV is very important because it decides the maximum size of the virtual images. Uh, actually, a single pin meter can support 12 to 15 degrees of field of view. Uh, 
Uh, however, it can be extended by multiplication of the pin meter into an array. Uh, however, uh, it does not linearly incre increase, increase because uh, display size or collimating optics also influence the deciding the field of view. So form factor decides the uh, field of view also. So in case of small form factor like glasses type, uh, we have achieved up to 30 degrees of field of view. Uh, however, we, uh, in a goggle type, we have achieved 80 degrees of field of view. Uh, let's check the demo again. Uh, this demo was demonstrated in 2000 and 2018 MWC, and <coughs> we have achieved 70 degrees. As you can see, it supports very wide interactive zone uh, for hand, hand gestures. You can move around the virtual object with very wide interactive zone. And we have upgraded this demo into 80 degrees of field of view, so you may have a, a experience in our demo booth. And we, so far we have covered the image quality of the AR display, however, if the image image quality was the only consideration for the AL display, uh, half a meter will dominate the AR displays because nothing beats the image quality in half a meter. However, the, actual, the reality is different. Actually, uh, many companies are adopting waveguide type combiners because of their size. Uh, actually, uh, most of the time, the size, size is more uh, prior prioritized than the image quality because by adopting those kind of waveguide <coughs> combiners, the thickness of the <coughs> lens combiner can be very, very uh, reduced. However, uh, those kind of waveguide wave type combiners require some special optics in order to collimate the display images into the waveguide. So, and also some propagation area is required to expand the eye box. So most of these kind of um <coughs> Waveguide combiners require some uh, bulky, bulky optics, collimating optics, and some expansion area. However, a pin meter can partially support the collimation, so uh, we can directly attach the uh, display module onto the pin meter combiner itself. So we can greatly <coughs> reduce the form factor uh, as small as the normal glasses. <coughs> However, Please. Ah, previous slide. Yeah. However, in a high performance displays, having wide field of view more than 70 degrees, we requires very uh, high resolution display more than 4K resolution. However, currently 4K displays are not available currently in a very small form factor. So we had to uh, put some collimating, special collimating optics for the goggle type display. So that will be like that. <coughs> so those kind of module can be attached for the final product. Next. And normal vision. Normal vision has not been considered uh, seriously so far. However, in an uh, advanced uh, augmented reality glasses, I personally think that it will be a very important issue because we do not wear the uh, augmented reality device. Uh, <coughs> for for uh, We wear the augmented reality device uh, for a very long time for daily use of applications. And we don't wear sunglasses all the time, so it will be an important issue. <coughs> uh, actually, uh, most of the waveguide combiners dims the real world because, because of the low efficiency of the light, it, will, it needs some blocking of the real world. Mm, and also the, the nano pattern uh, deviate, deviates the bright light source into a flares and also the, the bulky uh, special collimators and the expanding zones will block your normal vision so the, your visual field will be narrowed down. However, pin meter is uh, just a small meter. It blocks very small portion of the human eye and it is located inside the uh, minimum focusing distance of the human eye. So it will, block, it will slightly dim the real world scene. However, uh, pin meter itself is literally invisible. Next. And also, I need to talk about the light efficiency. Um, if the glasses can provide bright enough images, we don't need to darken the real world. And 
The transparency is very important because in a daily use, we will have uh, uh, eye contact. Eye contact is very important for daily communication. Uh, if we put some sunglasses or some the li light leakage images, the it will uh, block the eye contact. So <coughs> most of the waveguide combiners, uh, the light path, uh, light hits the surface of the waveguide, and some portion of the light is coming inside and outside, and it will lose some uh, light efficiency and lose the <coughs> and lose the transparency. However, pin meter is a full meter. It, does, it doesn't have any leakages for outside. And also, because the wavelength is not dependent on the pin meter, we can fully uh, reflect the light. So we, don't, we do not need a special light sources to match the wavelengths of the diffractive optical element. Yeah. So we can use the full light source. Uh, so far, I have covered the uh, optical performance of the pin mirror display. Uh, however, if it is very hard to make or cost a lot of money to, to make the pin mirror, everybody cannot use the uh, pin mirror. So I'd like to explain how simply pin mirror can be made. Actually, uh, ah, let's start with the materials. Actually, any kind of optically clear material can be a, a substrate for the pin mirror. Um, the glass and the plastic will be a very good candidate. Uh, they have both pros and cons. Um, a glass provides very high optical quality. However, it, it costs slightly more than the plastic. However, plastic provides moderate to good optical quality, but is very compatible with the mass production. <coughs> so we can choose uh, plastic for the mass production of the pin meters. So the left one, those are the example of our pin mirror product. Uh, we made a mold and put some resin inside it. Mm -hmm. And the middle picture shows some the, the pin mirror substrate extracted from the mold. And by putting the mold together, we can finalize the pin mirror combiner. Next. Uh, let me show some video introduction of the fabrication process. Uh, in the mold, we put some <laughs> resin and it will shed like the substrate of the pin meter. And it is slightly uh, slanted in order to give some angle to the pin meters. And we put some mask and metal coat the pin meter. Actually, pin meter shape, size, and distance can be easily changed by changing the masks. So pin meters are coated. And we put some compensating uh, part in order to um, give some clear see-through function. It can be also made through the injection molding. And we put some adhesive inside them. And UV curing will give a crystal clear see-through pin mirror combiner. <coughs> so we have variety choice of the resin and also it is very compatible with the uh, manufacturing. Simple four step of the uh, manufacturing process is required to manufacturing the <coughs> pin meters. And these are very already available in mass production. Next. 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 Okay, next. So let me give some examples of the manufacturing. Actually, the injection molding is readily available in lens manufacturing. Actually, most of the camera lenses are available in plastic injection molding. And also, pin mirror does not require a special optical coating. It's a, just a simple um, metal coating through the vacuum evaporation. Next. And also, um, mirror assembly is a simple UV bonding process. And then we put a display module onto the pin mirror combiner. <coughs> Uh, for we have variety choice of the micro displays. Uh, for higher resolution of the display for a high performance version of the pin meter, we can use the Alcos. Alcos is available up to 4K resolution. Uh, for when you consider uh, some image quality, we can use a micro OLED. 
micro OLED provides a very good color expression and also it provides a very high contrast. Also, or we can choose micro LEDs for high end product. Micro LED has a very small form factor and shows very good contrast and color expression. However, it is not available currently. However, Pinmeter can totally support and cover the performance of the micro LEDs. So when it is available in the market, we will immediately adopt the uh, micro, micro LEDs to the Pinmeter solution. So let me show how Pinmeter, uh, Pinmeter combiner is adopted in the real product. We laser cut the pin meter substrate according to the shape of the device frame. And we can put a display module on the top of the pin meter substrate. And it, yeah. And this opting module will be installed in the frame which contains electronics and battery and sensors. And this will be the final product, very small form factor. So let me briefly uh, compare the <coughs> uh, cost with the mainstream uh, waveguide combiners. <coughs> uh, compared to the other uh, waveguide type combiners, Pinmeter has a very uh, competitive uh, manufacturing cost because we can apply injection molding to the manufacturing of the mirror com component. And the manufacturing process, like raw material, tooling, or facilities are readily available in mass production. So that is the reason why we can uh, have very uh, competitive uh, cost for manufacturing. Next. And how is it possible? Actually, <coughs> injection molding is not, um, not proper for manufacturing the Diffractive, diffractive waveguide because it requires nanoscaled nano pattern. However, pin meter does not require those kind of very complicated structure. It is just a simple meter. And also, uh, cutting is very important for manufacturing. However, pin meter does not require um, high, precision, high, pre high precision cutting or surface finishing. So as you can see, the price for the high precision uh, surface coating is very, very expensive compared to the robust coating. However, pin mirror, pin mirror itself is uh, the low, it only requires the robust coating re requirement. And also the simple uh, manufacturing steps can greatly reduce the <coughs> manufacturing uh, tolerance. So those are the reason for uh, enabling the injection molding of the pin mirror combiners. And <coughs> about the mass manufacturing, uh, recently a lot of uh, AR companies have announced uh, the global partnership for the mass manufacturing. Uh, currently, Latin AR is making the pin mirror substrate with Korean domestic partners. However, it's very easy to scale up the uh, product production qu quantity uh, through the global partnerships. And this is our business model. And we can provide the opting module, which is the combination of the micro display and pin mirror combiner uh, to the um, final product manufacturers. Uh, according to our partner's requirement, which, which can be very changeable according to their use cases, we, we, will, pro uh, we will precisely choose the uh, micro display and the pin mirror designs in order to satisfy their requirements. Next. So this is the uh, production plan for our pin mirror product. So we are preparing the pilot production for the glasses type combiner at the end of this year. And early next year, uh, we will provide um, pilot production for the goggle type uh, pin mirror solution. And by 2020 uh, Q3, we will prepare the, we will test the mass production ready uh, optic solution of the pin meter. And uh, early 2021, um, 
mass production will be started, and we expect that the, we will have a capability of uh, producing uh, 320,000 opting units per month. So, ah, so this is the end of my talk. Thank you for listening. And we have a, <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, so we had to, you know, there's a lot of things that broke and we had to just try to fix it as we go, but mostly just the, the syncing of animations and making sure the blending and really the, wa the, the bird on the hand and system was the hardest thing for us. So. Thank you very much. <laughs>